Hi, this is Alex from phpacademy.org and this is another video tutorial for the new Boston. Now in this tutorial we're going to be lightly touching on the um, remote address um, functionality of our, ser our predefined server or environmental information. Now you probably always wondered um, how websites you know grab your IP address and it's simpler than you might think. Now in this example this will grab an IP address but it won't be reliable so it's not a reliable way to grab an IP address so you should definitely not depend on using this method to gr grab a user's ID IP for example you could have a block list of website of um, IP addresses that you want to block from your website and in this video we're gonna, I'm going to show you how to do this using this method but I do have another tutorial on how to um, grab the user's IP in a more reliable um, correct way. So I've got this file called conf.inc.php and that's going to take, contain the dynamic um, uh, a, a dynamic variable that's going to be updated based on the user's IP address. So the first thing we're going to do is create that, echo it out in index.php, we're going to preview it in our browser and then we're going to learn how we can block this IP address. So I'm going to block myself from the website. Okay, so let's um, start by creating a variable and I'm just going to call this IP address um, and I'm going to make that equal to, we're using the same um, syntax, so it's dollar underscore server. Now inside here we need to type remote underscore and it's not address like this, but it's a shortened version of address, so it'll be AD, ADD, yeah, like that, so ADDR. So we have uh, this remote address in here, which is now corresponding to this variable here, and we can echo that out on PHP, index.php. So the first thing we're going to do, oh, in capitals, so we're going to require our conf.inc.php, and if you haven't already um, looked at what require or include do, uh, take a look back and uh, you'll find another tutorial on that as well. So we've required our file. Let's just uh, refresh our page to make sure everything's working. Yeah, everything seems to be working. Now what we can do is echo out that variable that we've defined in here. So that's IP underscore address. So it's IP address. And let's refresh the page. Okay, so at the moment, because I'm running on a local server, you can see that I'm using localhost up here. The IP address is 127.0.0.1, which is a local IP address for every machine. So now, how do we go about blocking me from this? Well, it's absolutely simple. Let's go into conf and create an array of IP addresses that we want to block. So IP blocked equals uh, array. And we're going to create um, some IP addresses that are blocked. So 127.0.0.1. And let's just make up one. So we'll say 100.100.100.100. .100 .100 .100. So it's a load of rubbish, but this is the one here that we uh, are going to use it as the example. We're going to search through this whole array, though. So now what we can do is in the uh, in this um, in this comp file as well is we could uh, include this in here or our index.php. It doesn't matter whatsoever. Um, let's do it in index, so uh, it looks a bit neater. So. The first thing we want to do is we want to produce some content down here. So I'm going to create a header saying welcome. Okay. Now this is displayed currently because uh, we haven't created a function to block our, uh, block our IP. However up here what I'm going to do is I'm going to start a for each loop and then I'm going to create my block and then so what we're going to do inside this for each uh, um, construct is we're going to check, we're going to take each element of this array and check the current IP address against each one. And then if it does happen to be uh, blocked, we're just going to kill the page. So we're going to use the die or the exit function to kill the page. So for each, and by the way, this should come up the top of your script if you are actually going to use this. But like I said before, uh, this is an unreliable way to grab an IP address. So for each, let's go back to our variables, IP underscore blocked. So for each IP blocked as IP. So this is each IP. So as we run each loop of this, IP will correspond firstly to 127.0.0.1 and then 100 and then 100, blah, blah, blah. So uh, let's just echo these out so we know that it's working. We'll put a break there 
and we'll echo out IP. So let's just refresh the page and see what happens. So we've echoed out both them IPs. So now it's logical that we can come inside here and say if IP is equal to IP address, this, this is the current IP address of the user, then die. Oh. And then inside here we can write a message. So let's just test it for now. If we refresh, you can see that nothing comes up. That's because we've killed the page at this point, and that's it. We're not displaying this header. We've killed everything after this point. So uh, let's come in here and get rid of this and see if that makes a difference, which it will do. So we can refresh, and you see that we're allowed access to the page. So now let's create a sort of message to the user to, sh to let them know that their IP has been blocked. So your IP address, and then we'd append on IP, so that's the current IP that's been found and blocked. Um, or oh, well, no, we can do IP address like that. So IP has been blocked. Okay, so now let's refresh. Your IP address 127.0.0.1 has been blocked. So that's a simple way to grab the IP address of the user and then perform a couple of checks. I mean, I've just done this as an example. Um, just a bit of use out of this uh, this uh, variable here uh, but this isn't obviously like I said the gr greatest way to grab the user's IP address but there will be a video well there is a video on that in this series that allows you to grab the actual IP address of the user